Hello and welcome to Four Point. I am very aware of the fact that uh, a fair few of you will be motion sensitive to this because obviously it's VR even though you're not in it. Uh, it does wobble about when I do this. I mean, you could probably see it in the background if I've edited this properly and slowly cut to the game footage. Um, but yeah, so just a quick warning. If you are motion sensitive, just bear that in mind. Um, but for the rest of you, let's have a little look at this sci-fi shooter. And, you know, if you were ever considering PSVR, this might help you answer it. I would also like to point out, I am playing on a PSVR Pro. I have upgraded. Um, not necessarily because of this but it does work better with with virtual reality so fingers crossed it all comes out okay at the end because once i'm strapped into this fucking helmet i have no clue if it's capturing project nereus connecting to live stream Ooh. hello planet earth I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit, and that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> uh, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer, named after the poem. Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. Okay. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh god, okay. Okay. Oh look. Hey. Walker, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto docking sequence. Uh yes. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto docking sequence engaged. Oh, I have got shoulders. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Cool. That's a big ass play. Is that Jupiter, that's the big red storm, isn't uh, it? Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're going to need a second over here. Okay. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. Okay. Well, what is that? Okay. Keep it coming. The big purple thing. Careful. Most wait, sickness, wait. guys. <laughs> I think it's still not working. We're going to try a manual reboot. Stand by. Yeah, if you've got motion sickness, just warning you now, there might be some movements that are about to go down. Nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. Holy shit, that plant's huge. We need an engineer to go out and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Okay. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tethered 
to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? That is not a useful question here. Well, there are people oh. I want to get home to. Bloody hell. So, please. So, this vibrates, by the way, for those who are wondering what I was doing Man, then. This sit right with you. Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay, so you guys got no issues, you're going to come out and fix it for me. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Spacewalk. Roger, holding position. This thing's ridiculous. It's cool, it's ridiculous. Okay. I'm opening the outer hatch. Oh, oh, Others there they are. Attached. Okay. Hey! Good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? Yeah, but for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. True that. God. Near a moon. Look at it. 60 yards out. Uh, wait. what's that? Wait, wait, wait. Um. The hell is that? Guys, Come why is everything red? Are you seeing this? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Oh, God. Explosion time. Oh, here we go. Coco, do you copy? Do oh, you no. see this? We gotta move. What is it doing? We gotta move now. Where to? Open your outer airlock. What? Okay, let's move. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're still tethered to it. Oh, fuck. Uh. Eva, tether. What? Oh, God. Guys. Oh, no. Just cut it. Oh, shit. I... Oh, my God. Dr. Tyson. Oh, fuck. Okay, they're loose. I think they're loose. What do we do? I, I, I don't know what I... Uh... Uh... <laughs> I can't do anything. I've got a gun. Oh, shit. Um, what the... F oh, my God. Oh my god, this is what warp drive's like. Oh my fucking god. I'm in a fucking wormhole. This is vibrating really quite heavily now. I'm very concerned. I've lost them. I've gone through a weird space portal. Ah! Oh god, dust. Oh. 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 Um. Oh. What the? Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh shit, don't let it hit us. Oh fuck. Oh shit. What? What? Oh god, I'm in a. Oh my god, this is. This is. Oh. Oh, oh no. Claustrophobia. I'm falling. Such fun. Ugh. Oh, it's fine. I think we survived that. The question is whether Moon and Tyson survived that. Cass, location report, now. Location unknown. Ah. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen. 2% oxygen. Fuck. 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. What? Un uh, unknown elements? Okay. Oh, now I've got my gun. Move forward. Oh. Okay. This is the bit the motion sensitive people are going to be very displeased about. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it as well. Hey, well this is Wander. Come back. I say again, this is Wander actually. Pilgrim, you copy. Okay, that's how we shoot. Ah. Okay. That isn't a sprint. Oh, I don't know what that was. We'll find out. What's that? Data beacon found. Oh! Transferring files. Can I shoot it? Error. Visual data corrupted. Commencing audio playback. Shoot. 
Should I, should I go back? Should I turn? I can't turn. I've gone, so I've gone, for those who are wondering, in the... Where's the magical options button? Oh, there it is. Turn mode. Is this, right? I don't really know what I'm doing with it, and I don't, I don't think I need it, so I'm going to keep it off, for those of you wondering. Um... Also, it needs to know, like, your height and shit. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep it off, but um, that's probably not helping the motion. Oh, shit. <laughs> For those of you wondering. But I, I don't really want to add more movement than necessary because virtual reality is a difficult one. If you start adding, like, turning around and stuff, your brain really, really hates it. So I'm just going to stick with, like, turning with my body and then leaving it at that. Um, oh, I don't really know what this does. Oops, apart from scanning. Whee! Uh, that doesn't seem to do anything currently. Uh, the other button shoots it. What is going on here? Is it a broken... Oh, ah! Fuck. Fuck me! Okay, so the shuttle's officially fucked. Jesus Christ. So what? We're just going to abandon that. Because I don't think we can go in there. We're going to have to go this way. It's a bit weird not having like any head bob or movement, but we're just going to roll with it for now. <laughs> uh, it's nice. I like a nice sci-fi shooter, so... It's nice to have some more of them. Oh, hello. Assault rifle. Oh, fuck. The UEP assault rifle is the standard issue rifle for UEP personnel. Okay. It provides a high rate of fire and unlimited ammo, but can overheat. Keep oh, great. It on the integrated heat cage. This one. This one here. Wow, that heat gauge is not very clear. That's fine. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. But. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, this is Wanderer. Do you copy? I might not even use the sight. It's weird. It's quite, it's, it's strange because it is like a real gun to some extent. Um, it's just because it's all like that sight isn't there if you move your gun. You do. I mean, it's, I suppose it does make sure that you shoot correctly. Although, it's a very weird experience using it. There's no weight to this, it's just plastic. So, you're not going like, okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should be holstering it. Or well, then, if I do that, it's actually really small. So, if you were like a six-foot man, you wouldn't be able to use this, probably. Also, look at how much it's spasming. If I put it like, if I put it there, <laughs> it's still spasming quite heavily partially because my hands are a little bit shaky I think that's fucking fair oh uh oh, oh. um that's the volcano but that ain't no lava that I have ever seen before this is really cool I think it's just a little bit of a shame that it's not sharper I wonder what the output's like for you guys for me, it could do with being a little bit sharper, but that is all down to the glasses. Um, and there's only so much you could do with that. Same with the Vive and the Oculus. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you. Ooh. 
Okay, well, hopefully. Hopefully they'll find us. I have no fucking clue, to be honest. I'm just gonna head that way, I guess. I have to keep remembering to centre myself. Uh, due to the whole, like, not being able to actually actively turn in the game. <laughs> Apart from with my head, so I end up, like, drifting to the side. I'm like, no, no, sit fucking straight. Um, so far, I'm pleasantly impressed. I mean, obviously, we've not really seen any combat yet, because this is the setup. But I'm liking the environment. I feel like it's a nice... Barren Wasteland. Hello? What the There's fuck was there. that? What the fuck was that? There's a spider. I fucking saw it. Okay, now I think it's gone. Also, bones. Fucking bones. Okay. The sweats have begun. Fuck my life. Do you know why? Because I'm suddenly remembering the fucking giant space tarantula that I saw in the fucking E3 trailer. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it, man. I don't want to deal with it. He's weak. Palms are fucking very sweaty. There's... Oh, God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, fuck. They remind me a little bit of the spiders from Don't Starve as well, you know? They've got a little bit of the alien as well, because they're all predator. They're doing their, like, weird jaw thing. Oh, fuck! There's a load of them! Fuck you! Ah! Jesus, fuck that. Fuck that in a half. Oh, fuck. Oh. I need to actually, like, aim properly. I'm not aiming. Also, I'm feeling a little bit sick. Mainly the nerves. Also, the spider aliens. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, I think I heard one behind me, but I'm just going to keep moving. Jesus Christ. Okay. Scan oh. all fragments. Oh, could you not? <laughs> okay. Why are you... what are you doing? What are you doing here? I say again, Pilgrim! Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back! The signal needs more power. Even without the dust storm. I'm getting a low-level reading over in that direction. Over there. Of what? Could be another survivor. How far? Hard to be sure. Maybe we should stay put. Hey, no, look at me. We have enough emergency rations to get us anywhere the pilgrim is. We are not oh, staying here. Okay. Survivors keep moving, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Fuck. Okay, I'm going. I'm I yeah, this is the one thing I'd probably change is change the reticule, the far one, like the one that's down here, because it's firstly not part of the gun. Which means that it's it's almost well, I don't know actually. Look, there you go. So that's where the controller is. So the gun feels bigger than the controller, and that is true. Um, so it's kind of hard in places to like position it to work out. Like that doesn't feel. I would be like this, but that feels really unnatural, and that feels really strange, just because it's the, the size of the controller. Uh, but I probably would have made this reticule also uh, stick around versus just being a hologram. Purely because it makes it a tiny bit, a tiny bit easier. 
to shoot, but then I suppose that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> Can't make it super difficult or super easy. Partial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Where? Playback. Oh, all recovered oh, files. What right now? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Oh. Popcam. Day one. Moon Grant. Oh, hello. Is it the Pilgrim? No. No, but it's a piece of it. Must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found our power source. Hello? Anyone inside? No, oh, please. No. Yeah. Come on. Mm. I like this. I like the mocap and stuff for people. I think they're great. Oh. It ain't pretty. But it's shelter. Battery packs. We strip off the casings. We can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. All yours, Dr. Moon. Oh. Duh. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> so those two, that's, I guess, day one of them. Hey, ah. Something weird here. What? That's what she's doing. These batteries, they're all at 1% power. That's funny. 1% is enough for six months. What? Wow. Yeah, but why are they all depleted? Hello? I don't know. I don't know any of this. You're right. There's probably a shit ton of EMR out here. So how do we contact anyone? We keep trying. Survivors keep moving. All right, Shepard. Fucking hell. <laughs> so these two are going to just like try and try and look after themselves. I guess we're trying to find them. Pilgrim. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. Yeah, but... Please come back. I think they might be dead, you know? Eva, you need to take a break. Been going for hours. Yeah. He's right. It's the last one for my suit. Some kind of strawberry goo. Uh, what? Sorry. Dude. Bucket cap was closed. That's all right. No. What? No, that's it. What do you mean? When the pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the pilgrim came. Well, crashed. yeah, assuming that all of the pilgrim came through the same wormhole. Just just trying that out there. Oh. Hello. You sure about this? Not very, but it's what we got. I'm going to follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. And make sure you keep this door locked. Are we expecting company? Aliens. Okay. Space spiders. Bye. Don't die out there. Lol. God, I hope she's okay. So yeah, we kind of do this like weird thing of obviously we're looking for them and everything, but then we're also getting information about where they are. Um, I'm not. Ha I'm not sure about the textures loading in thing. A lot more games are doing that nowadays. I'm right behind you, Doctor Tyson. If you can hear this, I'm following the trail of debris. Oh shit! Ah! Fuck you! Oh shit! There's a little one. There's a little one. No thanks, bruv. Okay. Okay. Huh. 
I want to see. Oh, you're there. You're too dark. It's too dark here, man. I couldn't see you. Of course, that's partially intentional. Fucking assholes. Okay. There's another one there. I just saw it. I like how it's done, actually. They do move like creepy little spider bastards. With their, oh my god, with their jumping and their like on the ceiling dropping down thing. Like, no thanks, mate. No fucking thanks. Ugh. Also, they've got the ability for jump scare without being like a spook. You know? Like the whole the whole digging into the ground and popping up again and like crawling on the ceiling and it just being like here it's very dark like personally i possibly struggle to see um but i'm kind of coping oh fuck you Aye! jesus you're ugly up close oh uh oh oh slight vertigo let's not do that Hmm, okay. Where the fuck am I going? Oh shit. Oh shit, that's an electric storm! Oh Screw you, dickhead. Ha! The. Uh. Oh! That's how. Shotgun. The UEP tactical shotgun provides maximum stopping power at close range. It features semi-automatic fire with a seven round capacity and an integrated grenade launcher. So what? Integrated grenade launcher. Oh, hello. Uh, you right there? Move the controller up and over your shoulder to switch weapons. Ah. How much bigger do these things get? Mate, this is nothing. Pretty sure. Right, fucking assholes, where are you? So this is much better. I like this reticule because it's two physical reticules you can see. What the fuck is this? Why do I have to go in there? Whoa. Okay. Okay. What's the side button to... Oh, fuck that. <laughs> we ain't got time. Uh, that one. There you go. It's that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we're in my world now. This is fun. Oh, shit. Are we inside the volcano we bit? Alert. Environment temperature increasing. Cooling oh, fuck. system engaged. Oh fuck. Whoa. Whoa. This is lovely but also very deadly. Oh fuck. Ha ha! It's like clay pigeon shooting all over again. Oh. No, actually that doesn't hurt. I guess if it don't land on you, it don't fucking hurt. Holy shit me. I am on fucking fire, except for that one. Reload. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, reload. Come on. Hee hee! Nice. Fuck's that over there. I see you, buddy. I fucking see you. Let's fucking go. Give me that shit. Oh no. No rocket. Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that scared me. That fucking scared me. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? 
I was so busy. I was so busy looking at the big guys. Fuck! That I completely didn't think about the little guys. Whoa! Shit. They're coming though. They're getting closer. Whoa! Holy shit. Fuck. This is this is pretty pretty nasty. They do take damage from that range, because I can kill these guys from this range. Shit, 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 shit. Go. Fuck! Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. There we go. Come on. Hurry up. Reload, 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 reload. I think that one might be dead. I think I, I've killed one. No, no, he just stopped. Holy shit. Holy shit, buddy, no. Whoa. Fuck. No! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit, guys! <laughs> oh, so um, there you go, guys. That's a very quick look at some of Farpoint. Um, if you're at all interested, pick it up for PSVR. Then do go check it out. You can buy it with this. Um, you can also play it with a normal controller, but I, you may as well get one of these because. They're pretty fucking fun, actually. Um, and then you could just do ridiculous shotgun stuff. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little look at Farpoint. I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to just playing this, playing this at home. <laughs> In the lounge. <laughs> oh, with the giant spiders. Oh, no. No, it's good. Uh, cool. If you have enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, and share it with your friends as well uh, especially if they're interested in what the PS4 Pro looks like the PSVR looks like etc uh, etc et have an awesome day bye bye